Example number two, a program that will ask the user to input a character and identify if the character is not an alphabet. So in this case, we're going to ask the user to input any character. Okay, any character. Okay, then it will test if the character is alphabet or not. So we're going to make use of the exception handling if the character is not a letter. Okay, so in this case, we're going to declare only carlet since we are testing a character value and let is the variable. Then again, we can actually put this one, okay, on top of try or within the try catch again if you're going to make use of uh, the while loop, okay? Now, for the try, try block, it includes the input, okay? And then, uh, I just, uh, for example, if the input value is a small letter, okay, I'm going to change the value of let to capital letter. So, it makes capital M here, okay? So, you may or may not use the two upper. But if you are not going to make use of the two upper or the two lower, make sure that uh, during the testing condition, you have the two upper or the two lower also. Or you need to uh, declare both variable or both characters, small letters or capital letters. Next is, okay, you need to test again using the if statement, if is alpha let. Is alpha is a function, okay, that, detects the type of the character, whether it is uh, an alphabet or not, okay? We have not here because if the let is alphabet and then we have not alphabet, okay, we're going to throw the let variable. So this means that not means we are detect detecting or checking if the let value is not a letter A to Z, capital or small letters. Now, this is the more code part. Okay, so more code part. Okay, if this is false, then that means it is an alphabet and we display let is an alphabet. But if it's not an alphabet, for example, not an alphabet, okay? If it's, for example, a special character, a number, okay? It will throw an exception and proceed automatically to the catch block parameter, okay? And represented by X, let will be represented by X within uh, the catch block statement. So I'm going to just display exception throw with next line. Let's just not make use of this one. Backslash N is just the same thing as NL. Okay. And then X is not an alphabet. Okay. So that's it. Then end of program. So let's run the code again. So enter a character. If I'm going to input S, S is a S is an alphabet, so it will display the more code and then end of the program. S is an alphabet. If you're going to see that S is capitalized, that is because of the two upper syntax before testing the alphabet. If it's a lowercase or an uppercase. So if you want to make use of a lowercase, okay. Don't make use of the two upper or the two lower. Just simply use the testing condition. So let's run the code again. So if that is S, S is an alphabet. Then let's run again the code. Six. Six is not an alphabet. Run the code again. Let's make it sharp sign. Sharp sign is not an alphabet. So again, sharp sign proceed to the uh, testing condition and the testing condition is true, then it will proceed to the catch block using the throw let. Okay, so that's the example number 